One of the most popular upgrades apparently is to change for some beadlock tires, which uh, there will be more of that in a second. Um, funny thing is that uh, this uh, uh, track sass of mine was delivered with uh, the tactical unit wheels, uh, which I find strange. And I've never changed the direction of these wheels, and I can see that this one is mounted backwards. So, whatever. Anyway, I decided to go for an upgrade uh, and got these, uh, this set here from uh, Boom Racing. Not, not at all paid to, to do this, but I um, thought I'd make a quick uh, video about, about these tires, uh, which seem to have some uh, nice grabbing capabilities. Uh, the tread is slightly deeper than the original Traxxas Fitment, which is always welcome. And in the same time, I um, upgraded to some beadlock wheels, which I'm um, going to show you how to put these together because they're quite a pain in the butt. And so, to avoid you, um, you know, the the, the pain of uh, having to figure it out, I'll show you um, an easy way to go by it. So, stay tuned. Here we go. So here are the good old. Traxxas T-Rex 4 wheels, uh, as I mentioned earlier, these are the uh, tactical units, which uh, strangely enough were delivered on my Defender body. So these are pretty decent, uh, since I went uh, wading a bit in uh, some water, blanked off the venting hole, so they don't make any noise anymore. Um, and so there you go, they are decent tires, you know how they work, so um, well, out with the old, in with the new, as I usually say. So here's what I've got. Um, just like to mention that I'm not at all being paid to do this. I, um, I actually paid myself to get these tires. It is, so uh, from Boom Racing, apparently, uh, Hustler MTX MC2 1.9. Very uh, deep tread compared to the uh, the Traxxas original, which are not uh, that old. I mean, I've had the, the rig for, I don't know, a month now, and I've probably done 50 hours with it, something like that, maybe a bit less, I don't know. But there you go, these uh, seem to have deeper tread than the original, and it has the snail slime compound, or so they call it. Uh, I do feel a bit sticky, but uh, so did these when they were new, so, well, whatever. Um, thing is, these have um, dual foam setups, so you have these open cell on the, on the outer side and closed cell on the inside, so that apparently um, will help um, for various reasons, I guess, we'll see. Anyway, what I'm going to do with these is mount them on a set of beadlock um, rims, which I also bought and paid for. Um, so here's the uh, the locking ring by itself. It's going to add a bit of weight. So here's um, the, the packing for what it uh, what it came out of the box uh, delivery to the delivery box. So um, funky, I guess. So. Get straight to it. Try not to try not to scratch my new rims. So you have the inner parts. They come by pairs, strangely enough. Um, there you have it. Two pairs. And be extra careful not to lose anything here. Dump that, recycle it accordingly. Got the hubs and to well all the uh, all the hardware basically, which is um, which is nice, very good. Uh, there's I believe in the other pack there was one extra bolt and one extra nut. <clears throat> um, the hex is exactly the same. If we measure, it's a 12 mil which I believe is, yeah, that's the case here as well. Problem is the, uh, this part here, the center of the hub measures four mil, whereas on the rig itself, it measures five mil. 
So, first thing you have to do when you get your brand new beadlock rims is to drill a five millimeter hole through the uh, through the hub here. So let's uh, let's do that. Hole, lay it nice and flat. Make sure it's obviously centered. And fire away. There's a one. And a two. There we go. There we go. Now it obviously does help to have a um, to have a pillar drill as I do and there you go fits perfectly there you go it has to go down all the way otherwise it's completely useless right moving on so that's step one now the uh, rims here are stamped I don't know if you can see it, they are stamped right there. And they are stamped here and there, which are the markings to make it relative to one another. You can also check like so. Because you can put it multiple ways. Obviously, you don't want to end up looking with your with your rims like this because it'll just look daft, won't it? So there you go. Now, since I don't want to spend my life uh, on all fours or in the forest or whatever, looking after a lost lug nut, I'm going to apply just a bit of thread locking compound. It will most definitely help. So obviously, uh, the hex side is on the uh, inside of the hub. What you want to do is to put the uh, side with the hole towards the inner part. So. We'll Thread them by hand, fit beautifully well. This is very nicely made. And as usual with anything in mechanics, if you're forcing, you're doing something wrong. And now at this scale, you really don't want to mess up. You don't want the threads go uh, further than the uh, than the the hub itself. Otherwise, it's going to it's going to foul onto the uh, portal case, which you don't want either. Now for mounting. These, I found it easier to reverse them a bit, like so, and make it go through this first part of the hub right there. See, and that's when it starts to get annoying. Get one of these small, light, mushy dead blow hammer. Don't want to damage the threads, you don't want to damage anything, in fact. There you go, these can now safely go through. Use your fingers and you can actually feel when it's going to be flush. With the flange of your um, of the hub, there you go. That was the easy part. That is the very easy part. Now, um, yeah, see, one out of two is not stamped at all. Okay, so I'll put that on the side. This one is make things easier for me. There we go, okay. So, now for the um, beadlock part itself. Right here, okay, so what I did now to make things so much easier is to grab a um, four millimeter bolt. This is what I had uh, just lying around in my uh, hardware bins. So, um, there you go, got a nut and bolt. The, uh, this actually helps to center it somewhat. You'll see it's going to greatly help. Use a big fat washer. 
which goes around it and this serves two purposes not only does it rest on the hub itself but it also avoids the um, uh, these uh, threaded bolts to, to to go backwards which I had the case on the first rim that I built so uh, this is a uh, a little trick that will avoid you quite a bit of a hassle once this is done well you'll see you later on very nice okay so the idea of the beadlock if you don't do not know is that um, basically we're going to lock the bead I can't put it there any more simpler than that so that's the aim of the game there we go so we've got the uh, little stamp dot right there and its little friend over here so let's put them facing each other there we go very nice indeed there it is I found this um, sort of grommet I can't remember where um, but it has its place in my toolbox um, never thought it would be useful for anything at all in my life but uh, there it is it's very useful today um, it's made out of plastic and it's not going to damage the rim now I can just thread the nut over my bolt right here use the according I use the correct socket and now's the time you want to just barely put it against each other now's the time you want to seat everything nicely there you go and then keep going and see the aim of this is that it's going to thread thread the lugs nicely and automatically you wouldn't believe the time I've spent on the first two even I don't believe it I spent practically I don't know two hours nearly drove me insane anyway this is no good now if any of you out there are mechanics and wonder if this is just as annoying as fitting a real life tire it is highly annoying uh, I don't know is the bead properly locked I'm not entirely sure let's have a look over here yeah I managed to get that one really nice not too satisfied with this This, uh, in my opinion, is not good enough. So I'll just back out and start again. I sort of have to massage it in place. It's looking better. Okay, grab a screwdriver. That's looking better indeed. Obviously, it can't be perfect. This is just a model, you know. You know what I'm saying? I won't say I nailed it, but um, yeah, it should be good. Okay, so moving on. Get a bit of this thread locking compound. I hope this f***ing works. I only need to get two of these on and I'm good to go. I'm totally going to have a problem with that. 
okay. Um, oh, f man. Okay, let's see. Let's just see already. You know, before being defeated in life. What's this gonna do? It's going to, it's going to make my work all useless. Can we? There you go. F yes. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. This is quite a fiddle. Again, you want to be extra careful when you're threading these. Take it easy and then in a crisscross pattern. 